Well, it led to Judge Oreck giving the artist one small legal victory, turned down two parts, one victory, one giant challenge to the AI industry. The artists have only one angle, copyright, to protect them. And the copyright lawsuit was at a point where it could have been dismissed before what's called discovery, where the lawyers sit down and ask questions. This is where they discover what each side has, what's going to be brought into the case and, and argued, whether it's legal or not, and to bring it to the decision or settlement. So if it doesn't go to discovery, the AI companies don't have to share anything that's going on. And Judge Oreck said, yeah, it does. He said two parts of it. One was the allegations of induced infringement are sufficient, moving the case forward to discovery. Now the lawyers for the artists can peer inside and examine documents from the AI image generator companies, Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, DeviantArt, revealing more details about their training data sets, their tech, and how we got here in the first place, something private companies don't have to share unless they do something illegal, like maybe violating copyright law? We'll see. Judge Oreck says, this is a case where the plaintiffs allege that stable diffusion is built to a significant extent on copyrighted works and that the way the product operates necessarily invokes copies or protected elements of those works. Now, this is not a legal decision. The case has got a ways to go, but it just means it can move forward and have enough merit to warrant that deeper discovery. That's what makes this a huge victory. Now they're gonna to have to open those black boxes of AI, not only telling us how it worked, but telling the decisions that went through to grabbing those materials. And remember, the Stability Diffusion CEO said, we took them, now we can recreate them and do iterations. I don't know if that's gonna have an impact on the case, but law is built on intent. Why you did something and open AI, remember, says that it can't create this without copyrighted material and it's not going to pay for it, the intent is actually pretty clear. And maybe that's why Eric Schmidt's getting more hits than he deserves. As Judge Oreck says, whether true and whether the result of a glitch, which is what stability contends, or by design, which is what the artists contend, will be tested at a later date. The allegations of induced infringement are sufficient. And I can tell you this little victory, remember, this is a big underdog. How are they going to win against these big tech companies whose business model is steal and sue, or at least have lawyers to defend yourself and ask forgiveness later. So even though this is a small victory, this is a crack in the wall of big tech dominance and could lead to more accountability in the future and more respect for the people who create the content, try to protect and never gave them permission to use it. And were never asked, never paid, never considered, even though like Mid Journey had a list of 4,700 of them. And these artists actually place in what's called metadata, different sort of keywords, different descriptions, copyrights that could have been used in the databases. I'm not sure if we'll find that out, but it would have made it a lot easier for the AI to understand what this image was about, despite just having to read it. So finally, Maybe ethics matter. Will AI do the right thing? I bet if we asked ChatGPT about this situation, after giving me a lecture on ethics, it would side with the artists, encouraging the AI industry to embrace what it preaches. In fact, we should thank Eric Schmidt for this transparent wake-up call. He thought it was in private. This is the way they talk in private, prioritizing speed and profit over ethics and fair competition. This lawsuit, is a watershed moment. Reach out to these artists, let them know you care. And even more, let the AI companies know that you should reach in your pocket when you get billions of dollars of funding and find a way to pay for the content that determines what your output is. Because that theoretically is a violation of copyright law, but honestly, it's not ethical.